Would you like to know how to create a strong portfolio that could get you into any top fashion school in the world? In this video, I will try to demystify the process of getting into some of the best fashion design schools and I will share with you insights that could elevate your portfolio to a whole new level. Getting into one of the top fashion schools could be a huge springboard for your career. If you research some of the most influential designers of our time, what you'll find most of them have in common is the school they study at. And in most cases, those are CSM, which I graduated from, Royal Academy of Fine Arts, IFM, or Parsons in York, for example. The teaching in these schools is fundamentally different from what most other schools offer because the focus is on creativity and on the ambition to push the industry forward. However, these schools are notoriously hard to get into. There is very little guidance available to help you achieve this and there is a lot of misinformation online. And unlike what the popular opinion is, more important than your talent and experience is knowing which criteria these universities are judging your portfolio by because then you can focus your time and energy on perfecting those specific skills which will drastically increase your chances of getting in. The truth is that even if you do have solid skills as well as talent, you are still not guaranteed the entry. And even if you're not in this on your own, maybe you have a tutor or you're attending some other type of a course, most teaching programs are too scattered and they're not focused enough on the specific requirements of the top BA program. So at the end, they will most likely leave you confused and insecure in what you're doing. Due to the exclusivity of the information related to the top courses, it is hard to know what to focus on, which work to include and how to present it, let alone be sure that your work is creative and unique enough. For many students, the reality of portfolio preparations look like this. Years of dreaming and researching about a course and months of preparing projects and practicing skills and digging for first-hand information on random forums in hope they will find the right advice which will help them stand out in the thousands of applications. Or people make a very last-minute decision to apply and have a complete lack of understanding of the process and how to put together an exciting body of work. Well, only those with the right information, relevant skills and the right mindset can apply with confidence that their work won't go unnoticed. My name is Isidora Djurovic and I'm a London-based fashion designer. I studied fashion at St. Jose Martins where I did both the foundation and the BA course. And during and after my studies, I worked at quite a few London-based brands, as well as at Givenchy in Paris, as a producer at One Granary and as a women's runway designer at Burberry. And more recently, I started working independently for clients including Kylie Jenner. In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you exactly how myself and my students have gotten ourselves a place on some of the most competitive fashion courses in the world, how we got to be the part of the top of the fashion industry and how you can do the same. I'm also going to share with you the biggest mistakes that students make when it comes to applying, the three things that differentiate successful applicants from those who don't get in, and the key concepts behind the method for a fashion portfolio course, which will drastically increase your chances of getting in. Over the past few years, I've been dedicating to helping people who are committed to two things. Developing their design skills with intent of becoming an industry leader and having a lot of fun in the process. So if you're someone who has an ambition to be a great designer, you are definitely in the right place and you're going to love what I'm about to share with you. So this course is for students who are already enrolled into foundation or other type of art and design courses, A-level students and senior year high school students, as well as for people with little or without any prior experience who wish to enter the fashion industry or fashion designers who just wish to learn new skills to elevate their work. Before we start, I would just like to share with you the results that I've achieved using the method that I based this course on. So for example, CSM's acceptance rate is 7%, and last year, 80% of my students whose first choice was CSM got accepted. Other students got into universities such as Westminster, Kingston, and IFM. And in the previous years, I worked with people who got into Parsons, Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Antwerp, and the foundation course at CSM. After helping many students to get into their desired courses, 
I started noticing patterns of what people struggle with the most and what they find the most valuable when working with me. So I started developing a method which could produce results for anyone, regardless of their background and experience. I compiled everything that I learned from my studies, as well as through work with my students, into a course which makes this process a lot easier, faster and more fun. Now, the best thing about the method for fashion portfolio course that I'm teaching is that it gives you a breakdown of the whole design process. It teaches you the exact skills that you need and it gives you the key information regarding different expectations and requirements of the top courses. The exercises will be very hands-on and with straightforward instructions, so you can rapidly strengthen the quality of your work. It works regardless of your background and experience, and because these techniques are taught at CSM, they are guaranteed to produce you an exciting outcome. Plus, you will get to see dozens of sketchbook pages and portfolio examples from my foundation, first, second, even the final year of my studies which is a very valuable source for learning and you won't be able to find that anywhere else online. Now, among thousands of designers around the globe, I'm sure they notice two kinds. One would be the wannabe designers who tend to copy other people's work and generally they're people who just follow the trends. And the other kind are leaders, so big creative directors or designers working for luxury brands or emerging young talent that launches their own brand straight after college. These people create trends and push the industry forward. So what is the difference between those who become industry leaders and those who copy? Well, having seen works of hundreds of graduates during my five years at CSM, as well as through industry work, I learned that successful designers have certain mindset and skills in place which wannabes don't. Wannabes focus on creating cool designs without the research process to back up the design decisions. When you focus on experimenting, researching, drawing, as well as learning about art and design, your process will naturally lead you to an exciting outcome. Also, starting a project knowing exactly how it will turn out won't let you see exciting possibilities that come along in a process. It is also much more boring. Now, I want you to pause for a moment and let this next point really sink in because it's a big one and it's almost the exact opposite of what everybody else out there is telling you. The final outcome doesn't matter. Most applicants focus on the final outcome instead of the process, which is the only way to come up with exciting work. Examiners also want to see mistakes in form of failed experiments in your portfolio. They're not looking for mature designers. They're looking for potential for growth and hunger for innovation. And this is best shown through experiments. You need to be willing to take risks and sometimes even fail in the process of discovery. And the third thing is your skills don't need to be extraordinary to get in. Now remember that there are three things that I said the successful applicants have in their portfolios that those who fail don't. Well, those three things are high quality research, and innovative design development, which is basically a process or a technique that they've come up with as a result of fruitless experimentation and thorough research. And the third thing is effective presentation. Presentation can make a body of work appear much stronger than it actually is. Because it all comes down to this. If you don't have the tools to master these three things, your chances of getting in are extremely low. Now let's get down to business and show you exactly how you can start creating a portfolio. There are two main things that you should be doing at this stage. Primary and secondary research and design developments and experimenting. In other words, knowing how to translate that research into interesting developments. And if you're not getting innovative type of work right now, then let me ask you two questions. What are your sources of research and how much do you research before you start developing? Do you select your imagery, analyze it, and then use that to inform your design developments? Or do you rely on a preconceived idea of what you want your collection to be? Have you ever tried to learn new or improve your design development skills? It is so easy to get overwhelmed by shiny things like expensive fabrics or complex techniques or this idea of a perfectly finished garment, when in reality you should be focusing on research and design development. 
Successful applicants know these three things where the quality research can be found and how to translate it into design developments, which design development techniques to use, and they also know that the presentation is as important as the work itself. When you have strong research and unique design development, creating a strong portfolio becomes as easy as choosing the best sketchbook pages. The whole process becomes much more enjoyable because you'll be working with confidence that you're doing the things in the right way. And while others are looking for a way to make their portfolio pages nicer or more creative, you'll spend time developing a body of work which won't need redoing or fixing after it's been produced. Here, I'll just talk you through a few key concepts that Method for a Fashion Portfolio course is based on. The process starts by knowing how to do quality research and where exactly to look for it. There are two types of research. Primary, which is your own, that means the work that you created or gathered without the influence of other people. And this can include photography, observational drawings, personal possessions, or art that you created. And the other type of research is secondary. That is, other sources, not your own. And this could represent work of other people in forms of imagery, articles from books, magazines, or the internet. Once you have a solid body of research which feels fresh and has a unique angle, you can start merging different elements together by using design development techniques. And design development techniques covered in this course are 3D techniques such as draping, deconstruction, and paper manipulation, creative drawing, observational drawing, as well as mark making, illustration, and collage, and color and texture developments, as well as collection development. All these processes need to be driven by risk-taking and experimentation. And the result of following this sequence of steps correctly is an outcome that no one has seen before. And the best part about it is that you'll finally have the tools with which you can move your creative process forward even when you feel stuck. The final step of this course is portfolio presentation. Presentation is a very broad term that covers everything from how you lay out the imagery in your portfolio and your final illustrations to the creative direction of your photo shoots or how you present yourself in real life and online. And this is mostly learned through studies of art, design and marketing. In this course, I will teach you how to create a portfolio that will emphasize your strengths and help you stand out. I will explain all the rules and logic around portfolio presentation and I will answer the most common questions such as what to include, how to know if your work is strong enough, how to organize projects and how to organize uh, content on individual pages, as well as how to communicate your ideas clearly and how to create a strong layout. We will also cover topics such as photo shoots, interviews and personal statements. So just to sum up. To create a body of work which can get you into any top fashion school, you need to get these four things in alignment. And those are research, design developments, experiments, and portfolio presentation. When you get them in alignment, you will produce a portfolio which will really stand out. And this is only possible through guidance with examples, focused practice of those key skills, and understanding of the full process. So, this course will be perfect for you if you're looking to secure a place at one of the top global fashion programs, if you would like to understand what to include in your portfolio and how to present it, and if you would like to build a skill set using techniques that are accessible to insiders only. It will also be suitable for you if you're looking for a mentor with industry experience or if you would just like to see some examples of CSM sketchbooks, portfolios, garments and briefs. It is also for people who are willing to have some skin in a game, show dedication and understand that they need to invest some money in order to grow their skill set and take their career to the next level. The skills that you will learn will last you a lifetime and could not only get you into your desired course, but could make you more prepared than anyone else on that course. So who is this not for? It is not for people who like the idea of being a designer more than the process of creating. It is also not for people who make excuses and don't take responsibility for their own learning and progress. And it's not for anyone who is not prepared to roll up their sleeves, get out of the comfort zone and take action to get results. 
If all of this sounds like something you're interested in, then here is what you will get exactly. The course contains all the key information regarding the requirements of different top BA courses. It contains eight modules focusing on the most important skills and hundreds of research references and research databases, as well as hundreds of sketchbook pages and portfolio examples. Also, if you feel like you need further support, as in addition to the course, I'm offering one-to-one -one consultations call. I look forward to sharing this course with you. To get instant access, click the link below.